Hello there, this is Dave Allen. I'm Good and Geeky, and today we're going to set up a shortcut which will take details for making a task and put it into Sorted 3. We're going to start off by looking for the action which will bring in some text. So let's type in ask there, and I'm just going to uh, double click on this here and ask for input. The prompt, the name of task. Okay, so the name of task, or we could say, uh, for instance, something like, what are you going to call it? Now, the next thing we need to do is to URL encode this here, because there's a possibility that we might have uh, a couple of words in there with spaces in between. And if they've got spaces in between, then the space is not going to work out in the X callback URL unless they're URL encoded. Drop that in there. So instead of having a space in the X callback URL code, it's going to have the characters percentage symbol followed by two and a zero. Now we're not going to use any variables in this here, so let's move on to the next item we're going to look for. We're going to look for a list. So here is our list here, and we're going to uh, drop that in there, and we're going to have a list of the list items. Okay, now this is the list items that are in sorted. And you'll find that when you're doing this in the Mac here, if you add one here, first of all, and put the value in there. So the list that we're going to use is going to be uh, writing computer tasks and making a YouTube video. So I'm going to show the clipboard here, and we're going to make a YouTube video on that one there. Once you've got that selected, I can put the clipboard thing in there. And this one's going to be computer tasks. This clipboard viewer thing I'm using here is something from Alfred. And it just shows me the things that I've put into the clipboard recently. And the next one here is going to be writing. So I'm just going to use three things off the list at the moment, but I could add more in there if I wanted to. And once we've got the list in there, and we're going to do a choose from list. So let's do the choose from list. And you can show more on this here, and you can give a prompt. Okay, so we're not going to select multiple in this here, so we're going to click on show less. And then we need to URL encode that here, because we've got things in this list here, like computer tasks and make a YouTube video which have spaces in between which need to be dealt with. Double click on this thing here and put it in the bottom of the list or you can drag it and drop it in there if you need to put it into a specific place. Let's go for another list. And in this one here, we're going to have the duration for the task that we're going to do. So in this one here, I'm going to put 45. So I'll just have the three choices in there. But you can put in another one if you want to have 60 minutes in there as well. Obviously, we're going to need to choose from the list. So let's drag and drop that one in there this time. There are not going to be any spaces available in this thing here because it's just two numbers together. So we don't need to do the URL encoder this here. So the next thing we want to do is get a date in there. So let's get the date and we'll drag that and drop in at the bottom. We get the current date in there. Then we need to format the date because we need this in a specific format. So it's going to work in the URL encode and in sorted. Click on Show More, and we want the date format to be ISO 8601. We're not going to put the time in there. Then we're going to look for some tags. Okay, so let's get some tags in there. So we need another list. Drag and drop our list in there. I always recommend using tags because it's a way of um, finding things. So you could have something which is in two lists, but you can find it easily or find all the stuff easily that are tagged with the same thing and across various lists. So that's a good idea to use tags. Okay, so that's three tags in there. And then we're going to choose from list again. So let's drag this, drop this at the bottom here. And I'll show more there. We want the possibility of choosing multiple, so let's put that in there. And we're going to add tags as the prompt. In fact, on this choose list from here, we should also put a prompt in there. So we are put duration in there, so we know what we're looking at when we're doing it here. Obviously, you're going to know what's going to be, because you can just see numbers in there. But... Just in case you forget, put in the word duration. What we want here is combined text. Let's grab this and drop that at the bottom here because we use possibility of multiple tags. So let's choose this. Instead of having new lines, we want it to be custom and we want it to be a comma. Comma. Let's get this text here. I'm going to drag this and drop this to the bottom. Okay, so this is where we're going to do all the magic here. We're going to use the X callback URL. And we need to put that in there. So the X callback URL we're going to use is this one. And it's already set up for me. Now this first part of it, what it does is up to here, it just tells us that the uh, going to go to sorted and it's going to use the X callback URL and it's going to add a task. Then it's going to do the title. So from this and plus list that's going to and equals, that's going to give us the which list it's going to go to, then it's going to be tags, then it's going to duration, then it's going to do date. 
So now what we need to do is go to end of title where it says the equal symbol and we're going to select that what we want in there. So for the title I want to be able to select the variable. So we're going to do insert variable and we're going to do select variable. And the variable that we want here is for the name of it, which is going to be the URL encoded text. So we've got URL encoded text in there. And what I suggest you do is you change this to name so that we know what we've got in there when we're looking back at it this later. Next, we want to get what we chose for the list. Right click on this or I'll do a two finger tap on my trackpad and do select variable. And the variable I want this time is going to be the chose from the list and it's going to be the chosen item from the list of lists. As I say, because we've got the URL encoded text here and URL encoded text here, you don't know what's kind of going on there. This is why you need to change these names. We'll do that later. Do the right click again, insert variable, select variable. We're going to go for combined text because there's a possibility we might choose more than one of these items. We need to put a comma in between. Then we we'll go to the duration, right click on this one here, so insert variable, select variable. And say this one here we're choosing is for the duration and we want to go for this chosen item, which is this one here. And now we're moving on to date. So right click again, do the insert variable, select variable. And we want to go for the formatted date. So that's all that done so far. Here I added the action open X callback URL. This is text here is going to feed into the X callback there. Then the next thing we're going to do is going to take to run show today. So we're going to run a shortcut under this here. So let's do run shortcut, run shortcuts, select this here, run shortcut, double tap on that to make it go to the bottom of this one here. Click on this one here to get the shortcut that we want. And we want one called show today, which is something I made on the iPad. We can uh, clear that out of the way, actually. We don't need any variables in there. It's just going to run whatever shortcut that is OK. I had to do some repairs to the shortcut once I got in there. Could have been the slow synchronization in iCloud, or it could have been the fact I was using beta software. With the repairs made, it was time to try out the shortcut to see how it was going to work. So here we are with the first prompt. What are you going to call it? And we're going to put the name in there for the title of the task. With the next dialog, we choose which list in sorted it's going to go to. Then we're going to choose the duration for the task. And now we have an option to add the tags, and I'm going to add all of them. When these pop up, just click on allow and carry on with it. And I can see straight away, because I'm running the two applications side by side, that the Hello World Now task has been created. As you can see, it all worked out perfectly with the title going there properly. It went into the list called Work, and it's got the three tags of YouTube, Writing and Motorcycle along with the date of today in there and the duration of 15 minutes. Perfect. Once you've got your task in there, then you can start adding things in there, like some checklists. And then you could add a bulleted list after that. And just to make it fancy, I added a couple of headers and some highlighted text. So this is Dave Allen for Good and Geeky, and this is how to use shortcuts to create tasks within the application Sorted 3. And if you got any use out of this video, click on the like. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and click on the bell to get notifications when there are new YouTube tutorials available on this channel. Bye-bye now.